I'll have to find out where she went. Hi everyone, uh, today we're going on an enrichment walk with Meg and Amy and we're going to kill two birds with one stone because we're going to ask Meg some questions. Uh, thanks for all the hashtag ask Meg questions that have been coming through, there's yeah, been some really good there. ones and um, so yeah, uh, let's see what Meg, ha Meg has to say and uh, all the wisdom that she, she yields. Walking through these poplars is always well, quite a tricky thing and like that she's disappeared so I have to really <coughs> make myself small to get under some of these low Line branches, <laughs> but she makes it look so easy. Okay, back with her. Now, in case you're wondering why Amy and Meg look so fat today, it's because yesterday they got a huge meal. And I actually asked the staff to give them a small meal. So I'd hate to see what happens when I ask the staff to give them a big meal. Then maybe I'll get what I want. But anyway, so they're quite full and they're quite lethargic. But um, despite having full bellies, they seem to be quite active. So it should be an interesting walk. Question, Miggy, what, uh, I think the question coming in is, uh, do Meg and Amy always walk the same route or do they uh, walk different routes? Do we mix it up a bit? And the answer is, yes, we try and give them different um, paths and, and roads and routes to walk. Obviously, because like anything, they will come used to a certain uh, route and then it can become quite boring for them. So um, it's always nice to, there's just a tick over there. That's the horrible red pepper tick. Don't want that getting on her body. But yeah, so we, we, we try and mix it up a bit just to give them a bit of variety. And uh, I think she enjoys that in so does Amy. And then another question that's come in is like any family, do Meg and Amy have squabbles? And the answer is most definitely yes. Um, they don't always see eye to eye. And uh, sometimes they wake up grumpy and then the other one irritates the other. So they just have a little bit of a, a little bit of a scrap, nothing serious, nothing major. And then of course when it comes down to feeding all is fair um, in love and war so they will scrap if you allow them to if you give them a carcass and it's big enough for the two of them they'll they'll nestle into it and uh, feed just as wild lions would uh, but if you give them separate pieces of meat then in the lion's world possession is nine tenths of the law and don't come near me or my meat so thanks for asking those questions whoever you were um, if you enjoy the hashtag Ask Meg, then please do keep those questions coming. And you can ask them via all the social media. That's the Twitter account, Instagram, and uh, of course Facebook, even on Lion Whisperer TV itself. And uh, if you enjoy these videos, please do subscribe to Lion Whisperer TV and share them. Um, this is how we create awareness and this is how we spread the word so thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next installment i'm going to be asking meg a couple more questions today so stand by